Mm -hmm. All right, so skill eight is equilateral triangles. We've talked about general triangles because every triangle adds up to 180. We've talked about isosceles. This is another special type of triangle, equilateral. Equa means equal. Lateral means sides. This literally means equal sides. And that's what we see here in our example. We have one, two, three equal sides. So just like with the isosceles triangle, we can mark up which angles are congruent. But in this case, all three sides are congruent, which means all three angles are also congruent. Now, even though I didn't give you any information, we can actually solve for every single measure since they all have to be the same. If I don't know what this angle is, I can use angle X, just a good old variable. If that is X, that has to be X. If this angle is X, this angle has to be X. They all have to be the same. So now I see I have X plus X plus, oh wow, that got a little crazy, guys. Plus X equals 180. And now we can still solve. X X X is three X equals 180. We'll divide it by three. And as a lot of you guys have realized in class, any single time you have an equilateral triangle where all three sides are the same, all the angles on the inside are automatically 60, 60, 60, guaranteed. All right, guys, and the other question that we can ask you with equilateral triangles looks something like this. You'll notice we're looking for X again, but this time X is on the outside of our triangle. Okay, so I'm going to think back to what Mr. Bakke talked us through just a minute ago with equilateral triangles. If all three sides are congruent, then all three angles have to be congruent too. Okay, so we're going to go through those same steps, right? X plus X plus X equals 180. Combine our like terms, 3X. We find out that each one of these angles is 60. Okay, if you need a refresher on that, go back to the beginning of the video to check that out. Uh, but what, what I really want to focus on here is how we get from 60 to X. Okay, if we look really closely here, this angle X and this angle 60 come together and make a straight line. Okay, and whenever we have that, we call that a linear pair, right? So here is a linear pair. Okay, and just like triangles add up to 180, linear pairs always add up to 182. Okay, so we know that whatever angle this is plus this 60 is going to have to equal 180 because they're a linear pair. Okay, so we can, write out, we can write that out with numbers the same way I just said it out loud, right? Whatever angle that is, plus 60, has to equal 180. To get x by itself, this is just one step. We're just going to take away 60 on both sides. And we find that x here is 120. 